So if our heroes are all flawed and our villains are just mundane people like us, what can we believe in with impunity? Jesus Christ? Surely we can believe in Jesus. Well, yeah, of course we can, but which Jesus? Because I don't want to believe in the Jesus Christ of the neoconservative right of Fox News, of Rupert Murdoch, or the Daily Mail, that bigoted, homophobic Jesus, the Jesus that they've manufactured to prop up their authoritarian ideas. Like, check this picture, right, of Jesus that we were mucking about with earlier. You know, this is actually an image of Constantine, the emperor who converted to Christianity in 325 AD, fused with Sol Invictus, the Roman sun god that the people previously worshipped, so their allegiance would now be referred to this new messianic figure who was associated with their leader. That's why, look, it's for that, that halo, the sun, that's left over from Sol Invictus. There's no mention of Jesus wandering around about halo in the fucking Bible, or thanks to the fishes and loaves, what's the fucking light bulb? It's not in there! <laughs> they ain't that on to make the Romans think, oh yeah, he's alright, it's basically the same. You know, Jesus seems really lovely, what I've read in the Bible, everything he says seems kind of cool. Love thy neighbour as you love thyself, give to the poor, receive treasure in heaven, the kingdom of heaven is within. Sounds alright, doesn't he? Sounds sort of like a hippie, commie, gay type of a guy. <laughs> so where's this Jesus of the far right fucking coming from, who's really bothered about homophobia? From like, in America, from listening to the neoconservative right, you think that's all he cared about? Like, hey, don't be gay. You think it was called 